commensurating with my colleagues from various states of the Federation who have lost their loved ones and also their constituents in this dastardly heart of incessant killing that has been going around. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, I also want to commend the leadership of these chambers, at least a known fact that a security summit was organized. And part of why that summit was put together was as a result of these same issues which we are discussing here today. And we listened with rapt attention to all the service chiefs and other head of security apparatus who came to brief us. And they give us excuses as to why there is a, uh, this security challenge in the country. Mr. President, I think the president needs a fresh ideas. Fresh ideas, fresh men in the helm of affairs of the security apparatus of this country. And I'm saying this, oh, I tell you, that all the service chiefs and head of security agency should immediately be sacked. There's no two ways about this. I believe these people have lounged enough. I believe they have exhausted all ideas within them. I believe what is deposited in them over the years as security experts and everything has been exhausted. The president needs a fresh idea as regarding the security situation of this country. And this current leadership of security heads cannot give him that fresh ideas. They have to go. If we must put an end to what is happening. Today, this morning, we read on the pages of newspaper. The president says his concern is about the security of this country. Also, foreign United States military also raised a very great concern about this incident killing happening across our country. Mr. President, the president needs a fresh ideas. We have come here, talk from time to time in, the, in, in regarding this particular same issue. As we are speaking, killing is going on. By the time we wake up tomorrow, maybe another five or 10, 20 people will have been killed. And we still come here, bring the motion, and say they've killed so so in my, in my constituency. Mr. President, there is no place that is safe again in this country. And for us to address this issue, that is, is as simple as a fresh idea. We have held security summit. We have put together the security team. They have appeared before us, and they've told us reason why they will still continue to be security challenges, even before they bring the report. So my own antidote to this situation on ground is the service chiefs from the military, from the, the, the uh, chief of defense staff, to the least among them, should be fired with immediate effect. And let us bring new people on board who are fresh ideas. And you know the way the military hierarchy runs. If your boss is there, if you have any idea, that idea will die in you. Because if you try to bring up the idea, you might be retired the next day. So the solution is, let these people exit from this office and let's bring up a new people. And I believe that the president should take a bold step in this direction. If we have to stem the tides of this incessant killing in our country. Or else, we will have no choice than to continue to say this government has failed. So, going forward, and I believe anywhere is, is now is listening to all this contribution, and we are saying that the security chiefs are spent forth and they should go. There should not be any tenure elongation for them. They should go. That's my position, Mr. President. All right. Thank you very distinguished colleague.